Hey y'all, it's me, back with another video, and Gizmo, Gizmo, you wanna say hi? He right here next to me, come say hi, Buddha, say hi, Buddha, okay, so lay that down, you should have brought your blanket down here, instead of laying on, don't do what you gotta do. It's me and Gizmo back with another video. I ain't did church announcements in a long time. Now, I got a couple of announcements I got to make. And then I'm going to tell y'all a few things. I hope y'all ain't looking at my bosoms. Because it's kind of warm. Here, let me move that. Because I don't want that to be a distraction for you. Okay. I, please don't start barking. Gizmo, Gizmo, please don't do that, okay? I had a comment on one of my older videos. I don't even know which one it was. But the person said they thought that I had a problem with Christians and white people. So I guess I'm taking it she was a white Christian. Let me say this. I don't have a problem with white people. I don't like white people. But if there's a situation where I have to defend, take up for, boost the morale of, and talk about black people, I'm going to do that. I'm always going to be on the side of my people. Now, if we're wrong, that's something totally different. But I'm always going to be for the empowerment, especially of the black woman. And if you get offended in, in there somewhere, then you have a problem, not me. If you have a problem with me uplifting black women and talking about issues where white people are in that arena, then maybe I'm not the person for you. Like, I don't understand why Christians follow my channel anyway. You see what I'm doing? I'm not on here preaching the gospel. I could. But I'm not. So why are you even looking at my videos? There must be something. I like my hair being. There must be something that you are attracted to. If you over here watching my videos. Like why? Why even, why even waste your time with a witch? I'm drinking some green juice. Y'all like my little cup. My husband made some green juice and I didn't strain it. So it still got some little like uh ginger and other particles in there. So I'm saying. If my, if you don't fit in my realm of spirituality, don't watch these videos because you're not going to convert me to whatever you're doing. Like that's the one thing that irritates the heck out of me about Christians. A lot of you are on YouTube making these videos. Why you ain't out on the street preaching and doing what Jesus said to do? It's too easy to leave messages for people. That's easy. Get out there in the byways and highways and, and help the homeless people. Go into the jails and, and preach 
to the jailhouse. That's that's where the work at. The Bible say the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Y'all want to get on here where it's just easy to type up something and leave a message. Get out there and work. If you want to convert some people to Christianity, there's a whole bunch of homeless folks. It's a whole bunch of people on the street. They, they out there looking for Jesus. I already know who Jesus is. I met him a long time ago. We already have a relationship. So you don't have to worry about what I'm doing with Jesus and how I'm talking to Jesus and what magic I'm performing. You don't have to worry about that because I didn't already talk to Jesus. So these long thesis statements and dissertations that you write me in the comment section, I don't, I, I'm not, I cannot read that. I I just cannot. I I can't even wrap my mind around all the words. I'm not reading that. So you waste Christians. You wasting your time, sweethearts. You wasting your time. Let me see where I am because I want to talk about one more thing. I'm at six minutes. I can hurry up and do this. Uh, go back and look at this video. I think it's called The Rebuke of Bram Bran or something like that. Well, Miss Bram Bran is asking for prayer. And you know what? I'm going to ask my subscribers, y'all pray for this young lady. Because I have never in my life seen anyone who is so spiritual and knows so much about the Bible, but is being tormented and tortured by the Jezebel spirit. Like, this young lady <laughs> reminds me of the, the, the Charmed series. I used to love Charmed back in the day where these three sisters were fighting. They were demon fighters and, you know, chasing demons. They were good witches and they used to fight the demons and stuff. That, that Brand Bear reminds me of them. I have never seen Jezebel so deeply rooted in someone as young as she is. Like, wh why do you want to live your life fighting Jezebel? Like, who, who wants to be that unhappy? Pray for this young lady that she finds some peace. That she finds someone that she can latch on that can help her understand that there is more to life than the Jezebel spirit. All this stuff that she given up, now she can't use hair products because they're demonic. She didn't already gave up makeup and fingernail polish because all these things are demonic. She didn't throw away her, her, her blankets because they demonic and her bed had some demonic stuff on it. So she had to get rid of all of this stuff, she sees demons in everything. How do you live like that? And I just feel so sorry for her. I, I really do because life is just passing by, just passing her by. And she's just stuck in this bedroom fighting Jezebel. Y'all go to her channel. Pray for this young lady. Because life is so beautiful. She could be so happy. She's such a pretty girl. Such a pretty young lady. But is something going on in her mind that is keeping her from progressing in life. Something ain't right. Because Jezebel just ain't doing that much to you, sweetheart. And I wish you could find somebody. You done already blocked me, so I know you ain't going to listen to me. But I'm a good person. You will want to find you somebody like me who can pull you out of that Jezebel rut that you in. I got a husband. I don't have an imaginary 
husband and God ain't promised me no man that he ain't delivered on. What God promised me, I got. I have a husband. I have kids. They grown. I got grandkids. You need, Brand Brand needs somebody that she can really sit under and talk to. Because Jezebel ain't at you, girl. It's something else. I need y'all to pray for this young lady. Send her some good, send her some good words. Tell her that I sent y'all over there to tell her that God loves her and Jezebel and bind up that Jezebel spirit. Because Je Jezebel just can't be chasing you every day, girl. She can't be. And if she is, you send Jezebel over here. I tie Jezebel up for you, girl. I'll burn me a, burn a black candle on Jezebel. Get rid of that helper. So you can live you a normal life and get you a husband and have you some kids and take that rag off your head and be happy. I love you, sweetheart. I know you block me. You hate me. You think I'm a witch and all this. Whatever, girl. You missing out. Because I'm the sweetest person you will ever meet. I bet you I can get Jezebel off your back. Believe that. Y'all go give Brad Brown some love. I feel sorry for her. I really do. It's Friday. If y'all need me, you better email me. See, if you ain't following me on Instagram, you missed out on a free reading. Yesterday I was doing free readings. I don't know when I'm going to do that again. Because I had about eight people. I don't know if I want to do that again. I might. I don't know. Y'all have a nice weekend. Where am I at? Ooh, I'm at 12 minutes. I got to go. Say bye, Gizmo. Me and Gizmo about to go eat our lunch. We will talk to y'all later. Brand Brand, I will tie Jezebel up for you. Hit me up. Email me. I will I will get Jezebel, girl. I will tie Jezebel up for you, girl. I want you to be happy. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.